I'm not handed to play. I just want to get a free tile. Just the number. It makes it look like I did something like that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Buckle up, boxing fans, because what I'm about to tell you is you're going to knock your socks right off your feet. Just now, we received Floyd's first words from the hospital after being attacked by Gervonta Davis in Dubai. Yep, Mayweather has finally broken his silence on what actually happened during his brawl with Gervonta Tank Davis. And let's just say what Floyd said changes everything. If you're unaware of the drama that just went down with Floyd Mayweather and Gervonta Davis, then sit back because I've got you covered. Mayweather was living it up in Dubai, soaking in the sun and luxury. But just as he was about to head back to the States, something wild went down at the airport. Picture this. Floyd, relaxed and ready to fly, suddenly spots Tank Davis. And if you think that's crazy, wait till you hear what happened next. Tank threw his infamous left hook the same one that ended Frank Martin's career. Floyd got rocked. This wasn't just any punch, folks. This was the Tank's signature left hook. Floyd, who's taken on some of the toughest guys in the ring, had never been hit like this. The scene was pure chaos. And if it weren't for the security there, Floyd would be taking one long trip to the hospital instead of a short one. Now Gervonta Davis had a lot of time to play victim while Floyd was fighting for his life in the hospital. Floyd revealed he saw Tank at the airport and everything was under control until Tank lost his cool and went full beast mode on Floyd. And if you're wondering why, Floyd's gonna fill you in on that. Floyd released a statement from the hospital. Tank is just a jealous little kid. Whatever reasons he had, they can't be bad enough to attack me like that. I know he can't stop thinking about that. I've taken Shakur under my wing. He saw the training videos and got mad like a baby. Tank knows every fighter I touch becomes the face of boxing. He's scared Shakur is gonna dethrone him. Now this surely spices things up a lot. With Shakur Stevenson entering the drama, things are about to take a wild turn. We know both guys have been training together in the gym. Now you may think Floyd is helping train Shakur to fight Tank, but it's the opposite. Floyd's the one who's got a fight with Gervonta Davis. Yep, that one is coming to your doors sooner than you think. Everyone wants to see that showdown. Luckily for all the boxing fans, that mega fight will see the light of day sooner than you think, as Tank Davis himself hinted this matchup to take place this September. Yep, you heard that right. A new deal, seven fight deal, which is music to the ears of many boxing fans. You get to see you in action for several more years. What type of names are we talking about on those seven names? Uh, whoever you name, they could be in it. If I name some fighters, can you say yes or no? Yeah. Shakur Stevenson? Yeah. Ryan Garcia? Yeah. Devin Haney? Yeah. Isak Cruz? Yeah, but... There's two people I already beat already, but yeah. Errol Spence. Outside the ring. <laughs> Floyd Mayweather. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. September. No. Nope. Tiafimo Lopez. Yeah. Out of all of those guys, who do you think is the most difficult opponent for you? Floyd Mayweather. Floyd mentioned this mega fight during his recent interview at the hospital, but he also revealed some shocking information. Someone from my camp was cool with someone from their camp. They told Tank how well I've been doing in the gym. Tank knows deep down he could never beat me in the ring. That's why he took this fight outside and caught me off guard at the port. Let's get one thing straight. Floyd is the one who took Tank's career to the next level. Attacking was not the thanks Floyd was looking for. Floyd keeps preaching how he's always been there for Tank, and all he gets in return is constant disrespect. Well, my thing, my thing is I've always been there for him from day one. Um, we had a game plan, and my game plan was to help him become world champion and take things to that next level. 
And I've, I've always been there for him. And just over the years, you can see I've always been positive, always said great things about him, always pushed him to be great. And, um, but over the years, it's constantly going on the internet, take a shot at Floyd, take a shot at Floyd, take a shot at Floyd. Uh, constantly be disrespectful, constantly be disrespectful. When all I ever been was respectful to try to help this fighter, um, go as far as he could possibly go. That's all I ever did. Now this whole situation has painted Gervonta Davis as the bad guy, but that was until Gervonta Davis released a public statement giving more insights into what happened. Now, while Floyd was busy in the hospital, Gervonta Davis was out here making his case to the public. Gervonta Davis revealed some shocking news. Floyd Mayweather hired guys to jump him while he was out on runs. That's right. The only time Tank is unarmed is when he's out running, and Floyd took advantage of that. Mayweather spied on Tank and even shared his whereabouts with Tank's previous opponent, Frank Martin. Can you believe it? Frank Martin was the one who spilled the beans. But Floyd didn't stop there. Oh no, he went even further. We all know Tank Davis and Floyd Mayweather worked together for a long time. If there's one guy who knows all of Tank's moves, it's gotta be Mayweather. And guess what Floyd did next? He outed all of Tank's moves to Frank Martin. That's right, Floyd gave away all of Tank's secrets. And let's just say, Gervonta Davis was not too happy about it. You know he the one, you know he the one told Frank that I was running at five o'clock, I mean, seven o'clock in the morning, Friday. He told Frank that. He was giving Frank tips and stuff like that. I seen his people's uh, drive by while I was uh, running. It's cool. It's, it's all right. You know? I don't really think too much of it. it ain't, he's not going to hurt me. You know what I mean? So it, it's, it's good to be with him than be cool with him because he can do some crazy stuff. He'll picture him. It's a bad situation. Gervonta Davis's coach, Calvin Ford, gave his honest thoughts on the brawl that broke out in Dubai. Ford said what happened to Floyd was pure karma. Oh, he's firing shots too. And this beef is far from over. Another thing I want to touch on is the Floyd situation. You know, Floyd is Floyd. That's like I say, tank is tank, man. But at the end of the day, you know, the man is chasing greatness. And you should be supporting that. I always tell you that. You should be supporting that, you know. It's a rocky road that we're seeing what's going on. Just pay attention, man. The story is going to be built itself, you know. But again, that's how you burn bridges. Uh, somebody said, this is the true colors of a person that's coming out, man. Cause they can't stand it, you know. Calm is the, I, mean, I, I don't like using that word calm, you know. But our Lord knows. He knows. He knows. He knows. Adrian Broner gave his word to Tank, promising that if it ever comes down to a brawl again, he's got his back. That's right, Broner is ready to step in and support Tank if things get heated once more. You know, and when me and Tank go at it sometime, he'll look at Tank and say, yo, listen to him, man. I'm good. What's your thought on Tank and Floyd going back and forth, man? I let two grown men handle their business, but they know whose side I'm on if we gotta go there, though. <laughs> This whole beef came back to life when Tank Davis revealed he landed a bigger deal than Floyd. And from that point on, it was pure chaos. Because Floyd's ego is always through the roof. He's going to stand another fighter to do better in the industry than he did. Floyd tried to stalk Tank and joined forces with Shakur Stevenson. On the other hand, Tank Davis gave Floyd a brutal beatdown. Set you off because you was like, I got to do that. A lot of people don't know that what Floyd do. Uh -huh. He said, so you feel like it was a sub, like he was subbing you, like oh, like he, he, that, he was going at me, mm. he was going at me, yeah. and I knew for sure he was going at me. That's why I went at him. It's yeah. no reason for me to go at Floyd. Yeah, that's you know? what I was thinking. Cause it's, I feel like y'all, y'all got, I would say love hate, but it's been like the last interview you showed them love. This week it was whatever, but is that sometimes like you know, is it just like big bro, little bro, seeing things different, or what is it? To you? No, it just it, Floyd don't never. He felt as though I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm at that point where as though I passed him. Mm. And I and I'm doing it at a young age. Wait, like when Floyd was 20, uh, 29, you'll see, bro. Yeah, that deal that I'm talking about. Yeah, oh, that's that the, deal, yeah, that's a part that's of the deal. He, he don't know about that yet, mm. but that's bigger than his deal. Damn, wow. 
And y'all just, and I'm just releasing it. It's exclusive, that's yeah. exclusive. Yeah. Bigger than Floyd deal? Yeah. Take no cap, nigga, that's a lot of bread. You'll see, it's okay. gonna come out. But there's a huge plot twist to this story that Floyd and Tank wouldn't dare to let go public. But hey, that's where Ryan Garcia comes into the action. He revealed the real reason why things soured up between Tank and Floyd, and most probably, the reason why Tank showed no mercy to Floyd in Dubai. Get this, Ryan Garcia revealed that Gervonta Davis and Floyd's daughter, Yaya Mayweather, had a special bond. Yep, Tank was sneaking around with Floyd's daughter behind his back. Don't believe me? Just take a look at this. I already knew. I already. I already knew about all that. Uh, once, um, Javante, uh, uh, Floyd Mayweather's daughter, and that's not even a secret. That's not even like. That's not something I'm exposing. The secret is out in the open, and we're yet to see how both guys react to this shocking revelation. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.